Hey there, I'm going to demonstrate how to install Terraform to Debian Linux using the package manager. But before we get into that, a couple of things. First, what is Terraform? Well, Terraform is a program used to build infrastructure automatically without having to access a cloud provider's console. Terraform files are an example of Infrastructure as Code, or IAC. They're easily read and written. Why is it great? Terraform can automatically build, update, and destroy infrastructure. It can create all kinds of resources, virtual machines, users, network devices, and security components. It enables a person to work with multiple cloud providers like AWS and Azure and Google, and also on-premises systems like VMware and KVM and Proxmox and much more. Personally, I use the program a lot and it makes my workflow more efficient. My toolbox would be quite empty without it. Where can we install it from? The Terraform program is developed by the company HashiCorp. It's open source and freely downloadable from their website or from GitHub. Let's go ahead and install from their website. And I have a virtual machine open here running Debian Linux. And you can see I'm at developer.hashicorp.com slash Terraform slash downloads. Now you can install via package manager for your operating system. You can also download the binary and place that in your binaries directory. You can also install from source. In this video, I'm going to install from package manager and you can see here we have Mac OS. You can use homebrew for windows. You can use chocolatey, but I'm on Linux. And so you'll see there are package managers for each distro. And so for Debian and Ubuntu, we use APT. For RHEL, we use YUM. For Fedora, we use DNF and so on. I'm on Debian, so I'm gonna select that. And all we really have to do is copy all this code that we have here to a terminal. So I'm gonna bring up a terminal now and copy that in. Now, if you're working in Linux, you're gonna do Control-Shift-V to paste information into the terminal. And we'll press enter. Okay. And so that's going to uh, set up the GPG key ring on Debian. Then it's going to extract the package uh, after it sets up the repo in Debian. It'll extract the package and install it. And so at this point, it is installed. And we can verify that by running a Terraform version command. And we see that we have Terraform installed. Now your version will be higher as you're watching this video because they're constantly coming up with new versions. But as long as you're showing a version, you know that Terraform is indeed installed at this point. So good job. That is easy installation. When you do it from Package Manager, very simple. Now, as you're working more in the field, you may need to install from source and do a custom installation, or you may need to install the binary and so I do a lot of binary installations and I have a separate video for that uh, on my website. So check that out if you like. Um, and the link for that will be below this video. But that's gonna be very common in the field. However, for introducing Terraform and for first working with it, use the package manager and use their built-in commands and it works great. Now, another thing you're gonna want is autocomplete. Now here I'm working in Linux and so it's using bash. If I type TER, bash automatically knows when I press the tab key that I'm referring to Terraform. That's the only file or program name on Linux that starts with TER. However, if I type VER for version and press the tab key, Linux has no idea what that means. Bash understands commands and can auto-complete those, but it will not understand any subcommands of those commands. To make that work, we need to install Terraform autocomplete. You wanna make sure first that you have a bash RC file on your system. If we do an ls-la and press enter, we'll see that we indeed do have one. And what's gonna happen is when you install Terraform autocomplete, it's gonna add a line item to this. If you don't have a bash RC, you could just create a blank one. 
that's all you really need. But if you have one, you're good to go. So then we can do our installation of the Terraform autocomplete. We'll do that with the Terraform command dash install dash autocomplete. Press enter and it is done. If we were to take a look at the bash RC now, we would see that a line has been added here. Complete dash C for the path slash USR slash bin to Terraform and then the Terraform command. So it's going to complete any subcommands for that. That's essentially what it's adding to the bash RC. But to make that happen, we have to close out of our terminal and open a new one. So we'll do that now. Now if I type TER, and press the tab key, bash knows it auto completes that command. If I type VER and press the tab key, Terraform knows about the sub commands. And so now Terraform version will work automatically. So Terraform autocomplete is installed. And by the way, you could just do Terraform dash V to make it easier and less keystrokes. All right, there we go. We installed Terraform via the APT package manager in Debian Linux and installed autocomplete. And so, like I say, I have another video that you can watch that shows the binary installation of Terraform. And that's at my site, https uh, colon slash slash prouse.tech. And it's at Terraform dash binary dash install dash Linux. But the link should be available to you somewhere nearby this video. Check that out if you want to see the binary install and how to check uh, and verify checksums and make sure that you're getting the right binary and show how to actually get that set up in Linux. That's it for this video. Enjoy Terraform.